Bill was larger than life in so many ways. We all worshiped Walton. Walton was a, a legend to us. I had no idea what it was gonna be like. I knew the basketball would be good. I didn't know how good. Walton on the right side, off the glass, and go! Bill Walton makes it a 28 point lead! Well, we, we came to play, and we came to win. It was a really good passing team, and very unselfish team. There just wasn't any doubt in my mind that we were gonna win. It seems like it was yesterday, and the joy and the happiness and the optimism and the hope that was brought back into my life, not really by anything that I had done other than the choice to come back here. For a lot of us, you know, Bill Walton was like a guy that we looked at at UCLA, the 21 for 22, the Memphis, just, just some of the stuff he had done in UCLA and the Bruins and, you know, coming in in, in the 77 series in Portland when, you know, the, the, the Trailblazers beat the 76ers. And just some of the stuff he had done, you're like, wow, man, this guy is like a special player. How much does he have left? Um, you know, with Bill's history, we had no clue. Um, we got off to a pretty good start in training camp. Uh, he was pretty healthy and, and we was trying to ride the wave. You know, bringing in Bill Walton, I think, was a, was a real big boost for us. Uh, really solidified our bench with his experience, size, passing ability. Uh, I thought he was a big key in, in the difference between 85 and 86. Um, we always said that Robert's the one that had to give the most for us to be successful uh, on the offensive end. Then when Bill came, Bill was all about winning, so it made the transition very easy. And one, one reason why I have so much admiration and respect for Bill, one of the first places he stopped at when he came to Boston was my house to make sure that I was comfortable with him being on the team. Why, I don't know, because I had no say in personnel, but he felt like he was important. We were a different group of guys. We had won a lot and we expected to win. And Bill got in there and he just fell in love with that whole atmosphere and he had actually added to it so much. So, you know, going in, we didn't know, but we, I knew we were going to win. I knew we'd have a hell of a chance to win a championship. But he brought together kind of a, a camaraderie between everybody that was really fun. I went to my first Great for Dead concert because of uh, William. Bill goes over to Worcester. Worcester Centrum, went, got the stage all set up. You know, he knew these guys extremely well, traveled with them. I was very hesitant to go, to be honest, because I'm a, I'm a jazz and R&B guy myself. That night we show up and it's, you know, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, to a dead show, you know? I mean, there's eight or nine of us there, sitting on stage watching the dead, right? I had a great time. I even got it, I was shaking my little narrow butt, to be honest, <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> Yeah, he, he turned, turned us into wearing tie-dyed shirts and stuff half the time just for fun. It was, it was a blast. Up it comes to Seasting. To win for two! Just the spirit and the energy that Bill brought every day. You know, he just was so passionate about life and cared so much about winning and just was uh, so elated about the chance to be here and be a Celtic and be in this championship environment that it took you know, an already great bunch of guys, a good team, and to a, to a whole new, different level with Bill's energy. Well, Bill, like the, after games, used to always come in the locker room and pop a beer. And like, I, when you know, we'd win a game, Bill would come in and open a beer, and I was going, "That was the best game I've ever been involved." In. And then the next night, that was the absolute best game I've ever been involved with. His greatness elevated the level, you know, of of the role of the role players, and we could play more extended minutes, and we were able to give our starters some rest that year. Actually, I think he made all of us better, Bill did. There were days when he was feeling good, there were no layups and no points in the paint. That's how good Bill Walton was. Scary. Every game was a special game because we didn't know he was gonna be broke down the next game. But that year he played 80 games and uh, we won a lot of them. Uh, won a lot of them because of him. The fact that the Celtics were willing to take a chance, were willing to allow me to come and, and, and play on their team, a team that was already a championship team, was a, a huge risk for the Celtics. But I'm glad they took it, and it completely changed my life.